Hey guys, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna to be telling the story of how I launched my personal brand and my top five tips for how you can launch your own. Now we're going out for a walk today. Here's a lovely clear day. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick that up, but it is freezing cold. We're coming up to winter now in the UK, so it's very cold, hence why I got the coat on and my gloves. Um, but I wanted to get some fresh air because I've been cooped up in the house all day in the office um, working on the Mac, so I wanted to get some fresh air, clear my head, and of course record this video for you guys. Now, I didn't intend on making any personal branding videos when I launched my channel, when I launched my own personal brand, because as you guys will know, I'm a social media marketing guy. I don't intend on making any personal branding courses. I don't make money from teaching personal branding. So I'm gonna give away as much information as I can in this video. Hopefully it's gonna be stacked full of value for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, now I've been asked to create this video, first of all, by a couple of guys this week. I had someone message in my course asking if my personal brand has a direct influence on my ability to sign up clients which is a very valid question and also I got a message on Instagram yesterday requesting to uh, make a video on how uh, how they can la launch a personal brand as well so um, how did I start my personal brand now for those of you guys that will know my story um, will know that when I started social media marketing I joined a marketing Facebook group so I could liaise with other people who were in my industry trying to grow themselves trying to grow their own agency aspiring entrepreneurs um, and what I quickly realized when, once I was trying to grow I mean I signed up clients pretty quickly I signed up two clients within my first two weeks of starting social media marketing and I started to get a lot of questions people asking me how how I was signing them up, was I doing anything different than they were, um, they just wanted to know what it is I was doing to sign up my clients. And um, these questions started getting more and more as I started signing more and more clients, which is only natural, and I saw an opportunity for a personal brand, for me to start my own YouTube channel, which is exactly what I did. And I didn't really give it much thought, I just put together a very quick video of me talking about my journey, I think it's still on my channel, you can go check it out, it's a little bit cringy. Um, me talking about my journey and kind of what it is I've done to get to where I was back then. I think I was on like three clients at that point. And I just wanted to document my whole journey on YouTube, A, to look back on it myself for a bit of self-gratification um, and to keep me on track and also to help other people out and teach them the things that I was learning along the way, mistakes that I was making, things that I was, learn that I was learning that were working well. Um, and that was the intention behind my personal brand and it still is today and it's how I kind of developed that into creating my course so I decided that I wanted to make a video every single week and release that sometimes I've done like two videos a week I then launched my Instagram and my Facebook page um, and my Instagram has grown up pretty quickly now I think we're on like 16,000 followers now which is great um, and I essentially regurgitate the same content across all of my platforms um, to the point now where I teach people social media marketing all over the world, which I'm truly, truly passionate about. And that's really how I started my personal brand. It was purely just by chance and the fact that people were asking me questions and I saw an opportunity for me to jump in and kind of fill the boots of somebody who was giving out all of this free information, information that lots of other gurus online expect you to pay for. Now I know that I have a course so that's ironic saying that but I do give so much more information for free than other people do. I have people message me almost daily letting me know that they have signed up clients just based on the free information that I give away on YouTube. Um, so that's the reason behind my personal brand. I was frustrated with other gurus that were holding information back and I wanted to give back to the community and give information out there because at the end of the day I just want as many people who are hungry for success to succeed as possible. That's, that's my mission and that's why I started my brand. Um, so let's move on to my five top tips of uh, how you can launch your, your own. And I'm just gonna wing this, um, because I haven't really given this much thought, but it's pretty straightforward. I think a lot of people overcomplicate personal branding with these huge, in-depth, complicated courses about how you can monetize your personal brand and how you can get people to follow you and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I think it just comes down to a number of set principles that you need to follow when you are trying to engage with people and trying to get people to relate to you. Um, now, number one, the first thing that we'll start with now is finding your voice. 
it is so so important to have your own voice on your personal brand it's so important not to just look out and say ah Ty Lopez has got a really good personal brand I'm gonna act just like him on camera and say the same thing as he does it's not gonna it's not gonna do you any good okay there's no point in replicating what somebody else is doing I haven't actually walked down this way before so I hope I can walk down here um yeah, there's no point replicating what somebody else is doing. There's no point copying my personal brand exactly how it is because you're going to be reaching out to the exact same audience and you're going to be fighting over the same audience. And why would people watch your videos over theirs if you're exactly the same as them? If anything, they're only going to go watch theirs because they've got so much more credibility off you because they've already got that social proof. They've already got that amount of subscribers and people just look at them and just see them as the superior personal brand or guru or whatever you want to call them so you need to find your own unique voice for me my voice was finding the fact or acknowledging the fact that nobody wants to give away this information everybody's holding back all these trade secrets about social media marketing as if it's some big complicated secret industry and um, so i wanted to make it simple for people i wanted to be transparent with people i wanted to be genuine i wanted to be just some young guy on the other end of a camera giving you some information on how i'm making money and how you can do exactly the same thing and that was my voice my transparency and um i think those of you guys who are watching this would agree with that that transparency is my thing and being genuine on camera um, so that's what I wanted to go for um, but if you are starting a personal brand whether you're in social media marketing or not or whether you're in Amazon FBA and actually guys I'm just gonna hold this fork because I'm now about to walk over a fly over over a busy motorway so uh, hold that fork okay I still think we're gonna have a little bit of noise in the background um, but we're walking away from it now so uh, should get quieter and quieter um, but the other thing I want to mention on on the the note of finding your voice is actually just being yourself I think that's something which is so so important and it's such a cheesy thing to say uh, but it's actually something that I think I missed out on when I first launched my brand when I watched my first videos I think they were very forced and um, yeah I think I struggle to be myself on camera maybe that's something that comes in time whilst you start recording yourself on camera you you learn to accept mistakes you make back in the day I used to jump shot every single mistake I make on my videos uh, I still do on some of them um, because I've got a little bit of an OCD with that but like this video alone this is all just going to be one take if I stumble over my words if I mess up then I'm just going to keep it in there because I want to be as genuine as possible and that comes across really well when trying to relate to people it's not fake um, and it shows you just another person on the end of a camera at the end of the day so be yourself that's that's really really important and make sure that you try and find an audience which is unique if something actually if anyone's watching this and you you are in the older generation um, no offense of course uh, if you're in the older generation and you're into social media marketing there's a huge space right now for an older guru for social media marketing actually for lots of these online business models because I actually noticed that lots of these online business models are only adopted by youngsters and it would be really really great to see as a really uh, large truck coming past it'd be really really great to see some of the older guys jumping in and sharing some of their knowledge maybe some of their old school marketing tactics that can then be adapted in social media marketing and then relating to that audience that would be a really great personal brand to launch I don't even know where I'm going but we're just gonna carry on and wing this um, number two number two 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 is finding your platform um, so you need to make sure that you pick the right platform when you sign a personal brand this is so so important um, you really need to assess assess this in great depth because every platform is so different and it also goes hand in hand with finding your audience because your specific audience might be using a specific platform typically a very much younger audience are using um, Instagram for instance I suppose the same with YouTube actually YouTube and Instagram go hand in hand for a younger audience if you're looking for an older audience you can even create a personal brand on LinkedIn if you're just going for business so a business people uh, I wouldn't really recommend going for a personal brand on Twitter these days formerly known as Twitter because uh, <laughs> it is dying I don't even use my own Twitter I haven't um, haven't tweeted on there in, in, in so so long um, but it is important that you choose the right platform um, and you've also got to take into consideration the amount of time that those platforms take to run um, and take to manage now my personal brand takes up a lot of time anybody who says that a personal brand is just simply documenting your life um, and it's easy is lying because it takes up a lot of time it's a, it's a long long slog if my life was just running my agency then life would be a hell of a lot easier and uh, less time consuming than it is um, but it is a very gratifying is that gratifying a word um, 
it's it's something it's very it's very fulfilling to do it's a very fulfilling thing to do is running a personal brand um, and I really I thoroughly enjoy it but it does take a lot of time um, and YouTube in particular is the most time-consuming of all those platforms it's a lot easier to run a Instagram personal brand but when you're creating videos and you have to edit them you have to think of content and once you've been running your personal brand for a while thinking of content is actually something which is really hard to do which is why I actually reach out to you guys a lot um, and ask on your thoughts on what you think that that I should release um, so yeah that is uh, finding your platform. Now number three is engaging with all of your audience. Uh, engaging is so, so important. I still to this day respond to absolutely everybody who DMs me, who messages me on Facebook, who responds, who comments on my YouTube comments. Now granted, YouTube comments is really hard to, to keep on top on because I get so, so many of them, but I do try and do them like at least every week I try and respond to everybody. Um, and that is something which really, really helps when you're first starting your personal brand, when you're first trying to grow your audience. I'm actually gonna turn around because I'm walking quite far away from home. And um, when you're first trying to grow your audience, engaging with absolutely everybody is an easy way to make sure that people keep coming back because you're being genuine again, you're being very personal um, and people can then relate to you because they think you're accessible, which of course you want to be. You wanna be accessible. You don't wanna start your personal brand, get your first 100 followers and think you're too big to respond to everybody because you're not gonna get likes, like people are just gonna dislike you. Um, so make sure you engage with absolutely everybody. And I love meeting new people. I love engaging with you guys. I love hearing your stories. I love hearing about your successes. Um, so engaging is good. It's all part of it. It's a fun part of personal branding. But again, it is time consuming. Uh, number four. Now I can't actually think of what my number five is gonna be. So we're just gonna go uh, for four here. Number four is running ads. Now, if you want your personal brand to launch, anybody or want your personal brand to grow quickly, anybody who's saying that, they grow their personal brand purely organically, I'm just gonna stand on the verge here because I've got a van going past, um, is lying. Um, anybody who says that they grow their personal brand organically, I have to pick the wrong road to come down. Yeah, it's quite simply lying. It's just not possible to grow a personal brand quickly without running ads. Um, and when I first started, I started running ads very, very quickly. I think on my like first 100 subscribers on YouTube, I started running pre-roll ads, essentially just inviting people over to my channel. It was like, hey guys, my name's Jordan. Um, I hope you're all well. This is what I do. I'm into social media marketing, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think I may even have it published on my channel somewhere. Um, come over to my channel and I wanna help you do this, this and the other. So you just wanna introduce yourself and say what it is you're doing, what it is you intend on doing, um, and what your videos are gonna be about and why people should come over and subscribe to you. And I made that on Google AdWords, which is obviously the platform for advertising on YouTube. And I just advertised it to all people under the affinity audience business professionals, which I think is what I did. So I did that when I first started. I still do that to this day. I update those ads every month or so. Um, and that is just a sure way to get new subscribers coming to your channel. Um, I spend quite a lot now, but I think I started out on a five pound a day advert budget. Now again, with Instagram, if you want to grow an Instagram page, I've done a video on this before, so go check it out of how I got my first one, uh, 10,000 subscribers on followers on YouTube, um, Instagram. Um, I ran Instagram story ads. Now they were very, very, very effective story ads like got my page growing even quicker than YouTube and that's another thing to note by the way Instagram grows so much quicker than YouTube but in terms of monetary return on investment YouTube is so much better uh, because you are just relating with you're connecting with people over video and that's just the best way to get buying from people uh, so yeah uh, make sure you run ads people who say that they're growing their their personal brand organically are just are just lying to you it just doesn't happen unless you're like one of them girls who's just getting their ass out on Instagram or on YouTube or whatever um, and you're just getting pervy men follow them, then you're not growing organically. Well, you will be, but not completely organically, not at the rate that you want to grow, not at the rate that someone like me is growing, which is like two, three, four thousand subscribers every single month. Um, I just thought of number five, I just remembered. Number five, this video is going on for longer than I expected, so uh, I hope I'm not like running on here. Number five is monetizing quickly, um, or not, and also not monetizing too quickly as well. So this is really important. You need to find a fine line here. There is a fine line between, I'm gonna stop because I'm getting out of breath. Um, there is a fine line between monetizing too quickly 
and, um, and monetizing too late. So you don't want to piss off your audience by getting your first 100 subscribers and then um, saying, hey look, go buy my course, because you're not giving enough away for free, you're not enticing people, you're not being genuine, you're just making it so clear that all you intend on doing is making money out of your audience. And which ultimately is a big part of personal branding. Anybody who has a personal brand which is saying, I don't do it to make money, they're lying as well. I mean, I make my personal brand to make money, but I also get a huge amount of fulfillment from it as well. I love teaching people, I love helping people be successful, but ultimately I started it to make money because I saw an opportunity there. Um, and I'm just being transparent by saying that. Um, but you don't want to piss people off by not giving enough away for free and just taking. You have to put into the pot to take out the pot. So I think I started monetizing on about a thousand subscribers. I released coaching calls purely because people were asking for them. People were saying, like, hey, can I jump on a call with you um, and get some, uh, get some advice on social media marketing? And um, I was doing some for free and I thought, you know what? I really don't have the time to do this now. So I decided to release close consultation calls via my website and I made a YouTube video to promote that. Um, but apart from that, if you go on my YouTube, I think there's only like two videos on my whole channel which promote my course. It's very, very important that you have the information out there and people have access to your products, but you don't throw it in their face. You're not saying, hey, buy my course in every single video like a Logan Paul video where he sells his t-shirts. Um, you need to make sure that you're being mindful of that and you're not pissing people off and you're not just taking out of the pot because at the end of the day you have to put 10 times more in than you get out of it um, so yeah I think that's the end of this video I, I know that I've gone way way over time um, so thank you to those of you who have stuck around to this point and you have found this video interesting if you do want more videos on personal branding let me know I am open to doing it I don't intend on making any money from personal branding videos so I want to give away as much information as possible as I can for free on personal branding so ask me anything and uh, yeah I'll, I'll put it out for you guys uh, Sorry guys, my battery died, school by error, so I've just rushed back home, put it on charge, and yeah, yeah, here I am. So I think I was just rounding up on the video, but actually as I was walking home, I remembered that I forgot to answer the fact of whether my personal brand helps me in signing up social media marketing clients. Now to keep it short, absolutely it does. My personal brand has a huge, huge influence on me being able to sign up clients. In fact, I've signed up many clients just on, on the basis of my personal brand alone. Businesses reach out to me through my personal brand every single week. Um, so if you are a social media marketer and you are interested in starting a personal brand, I do recommend it because it does give you so much more weight and so much more clout when trying to sign up businesses. Um, because if you've got the ability to teach people, then you must be able to do what it is that you're saying you can do. And that's the way that business owners look. Um, so yeah, it's very, very valuable for social media marketing. Um, and in general, so uh, personal branding is amazing. I like it in total. I completely love running my personal brand. Um, the monetary benefits are, are excellent as well. If you know how to monetize your personal brand, my personal brand brings in multiple five-figure revenue every single month. Um, but it's the fulfillment as well. It's the ability to be able to teach people, the ability to have people message you and say, hey man, I've signed up my first client for £2,000 this month just based on the free information you've given away on YouTube. And that's incredible. That's an amazing, amazing feeling. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to start a personal brand, if that's in your nature, that's something that interests you, I thoroughly recommend you doing so. I hope you got loads of value from this video. If you have any questions at all as usual just fire them over on Instagram or down below or on Facebook or any of my channels and that's it for me I'll be back again at start next week cheers guys